Hey everyone, Randy here for Gold Midwest Fishing, and I'm about to turn my fishing boat into this boat. Stick around, I'm going to show you how I did it and exactly how much it cost. So this whole thing started when I was online looking at boats. I came across a few really cool boats that had some nice graphics on it. Ones that look like these here. Well, after seeing these boats, I'm like, I gotta get me one of those. So I started looking into how I could put a nice wrap on my boat and I was running into a few problems because the ones I liked were all from, came out of like Australia or faraway places that just kind of makes ordering them difficult. And pretty much every graphic I saw had to do with saltwater fishing. Well, I wanted something that reflected more my style fishing up here in the Midwest. So I went to a boat show up here in Minneapolis and I talked to a, a company that does boat wraps and they quoted me $2,500 to wrap my 18 foot boat. And that's if they put it on. If I put it on myself, it was only $1,500. Well, that's still out of my budget. And so I kept on looking and I came across a company called Struck and Design. They're out of Racine, Wisconsin. Not only did they have the type of graphics I wanted, they also had it within my price range. So for example, their smallest wrap starts at $199 up to $599. So the smallest one, it comes 12 feet long by 12 inches high. And that's, you know, if you got a small John boat, bass boat, something like that, you can use that wrap all the way up to 26 feet. And that one, uh, 26 feet long, 26 inches tall. And that one's $599. Well, I needed one for my 18 foot boat. And I think it came to, it was a $400. Plus, I had them customized a bit. I had to make it a little bit longer, and I added some custom graphics. So I had my logo put on, and I also had some words put on, you know, my name, find us on YouTube, that kind of stuff. Really cool. So that was only an extra $50. So these come in pairs, so that's one for each side of the boat, and it cost me a total of $500, which is very good and very much in range of uh, most people that would own a boat. So I found Struck and Design, I think over there on Etsy or something, but I also found them on eBay, and then they have their own website. And they do have some different designs on each three of these platforms. Anyway, I found the design I wanted on one of those sites and I kind of customized it. Here's a photo of what I did to it. I sent her this photo of how I wanted my boat to look like and then uh, she customized it to make it look just like that. All right, now let's discuss the tools you're gonna need to put this on. First of all, you need your wrap. I got right here, the whole wrap fits in this little box here. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, I opened it up, I already took a look at it. Looks good to me, so I can't wait to put it on. And next you're gonna need this here. This is a 3M Primer 94. Um, what that does is it adds a little stick to the vinyl. So this already has, it's like a big sticker. So it'll stick anyway, but where you want extra stick, like around the edges, you got those little ridges or rivets or corners, things where you want it to stick extra strong, you're gonna put this primer on. And then when you have the whole wrap on, you're gonna use this uh, 3M edge sealer and this goes around, think of it kind of like a silicone caulk or something. You put it around all your you know, edges, the cut edges, so it'll prevent water and stuff from egressing in or uh, keeping it from peeling up on the edges. Next, you're gonna want a squeegee. This is a felt edge squeegee. One has a felt side, one has a hard side. That way you don't rip the uh, vinyl when you're doing it. And also the hard edge, you can get around those little rivets and stuff, make sure it sticks well. You need some kind of heat source. I got a heat gun here. You can also use a propane torch. So when you're trying to, you know, stretch around those bumps and corners, you can heat it up and stretch it a little. It'll help it fit all better. Then you need some kind of razor blade. I got a utility knife here. If you have like a smaller X-Acto knife, that would work a lot better. One word of caution, if you're out there looking for wraps and you find some for really cheap, just be careful. You want to make sure they have good paper. Make sure they have either 3M or Avery paper. Um, the Struck and Design one uses Avery Denison paper. It's two mils thick. Uh, it's got the easy air egress um, type paper, so meaning it won't get like bubbles formed underneath. You can easily push those bubbles out and um, so you don't get that little lump in the middle there. And it's also repositionable. So if you put it on wrong, it can peel off kind of like a big post-it note. You know, you take it off, put it back <laughs> until you get it just right. Then you heat it up and smooth it down. All right, the last thing you're gonna want is probably a friend to help put this on, especially these longer graphics here. So Reggie's gonna be over tomorrow to help me put it on the boat, but for now, I'm gonna get the boat prepped and ready for him, so when he gets here, we can just stick it on. So let me show you what I'm gonna do to get the boat ready. First step to applying the wrap is we need to prepare the boat, and that includes 
removing all these stickers on the boat. It's got that. It's got a few decals down here. And also, I want to be able to get at the boat. So I got these bunks down here like this. They're going to kind of be in the way of installing. So I'm going to remove these and make it nice and open. Got this big Alumacraft sticker here. We'll take that off. And I find if you take a heat gun and a razor blade, that usually is enough to get rid of most of these decals. After I took these stickers off, they left, uh, there's a little bit of glue left behind, so it almost looks like the sticker's still on there. Use some of this goo gone, and I got off most of the sticky stuff. Um, you can still kind of see it, but the main thing is when you put the, the vinyl wrap on, you don't want anything sticking up that you're going to be able to see through the wrap. And this is nice and flat, so you don't have to worry about that. Everything you got to worry about is your registration sticker. Um, you're going to have to take these off, so you can just go to your local DMV or whatever and get a uh, a duplicate decal here so all right now for the controversial part <laughs> i got a couple little dings on my boat one right here one on the other side not real big but i want to fill those in before i put the uh, vinyl wrap over it so what's the best way to fill these little holes and uh you know i'm trying to look up information on this and it seems like everyone has their own opinion so i'm not saying i'm going to do this right but here's what i have on hand got some old bondo auto body filler and I got the Marine Weld from uh, JB Weld, epoxy there. So I think Bondo would work good. The only problem is they say it doesn't really stick to aluminum and uh, it could cause corrosion underneath. And it's not really made for applications that are going to be like underwater and stuff. So I'm going to skip the Bondo and I'm going to try the old uh, JB Weld since they're not too big a uh, dense. Um, there's not a whole lot in these tubes here, so I'll see if I can get that to work. If not, I may have to go get something else, but I'm on a limited time schedule here, so I'm just going with this for now. I don't have time to go buy anything else. I'll just squeeze some of this out here. Couple parts of this. Now just to mix it up. Let's go put it on the boat. So I just sanded around it and then uh, cleaned it off well. All right, I'm going to leave it that, and I'll come back tomorrow and uh, sand it down. Spot right there. Got all these little scratches on here too. Let's cover those up. I'm at it. I'm just going to go fill the one on the other side. And maybe any little scratches I find, then I'll come back tomorrow and sand them all down and. Uh, like it's still probably could use a little more it's a little bit of an indent there maybe i'll throw one more coat on there all right it's now the next day the jb weld should be cured up enough to sand so i'm just going around and try to uh sand it nice and flat so there's no ridges on it and get it uh, prepped for the wrap to go on that jb weld worked pretty good I could have used a little more right here you can see it's not quite flush so I didn't build it up enough but other than that it feels good feels pretty smooth and uh, sticks to aluminum really well I went all the way to all the spots I did in there yeah I think that'll work good next step I'm gonna give it a good washing I'm gonna clean it with this uh, instant hull cleaner got this from the better boat it's pretty good stuff I used it earlier and it pretty much takes everything off gives it a real good clean so we take it outside, give it pressure washing, and uh, Wisconsin opener is just about a week away, and it's, it's still barely out of the 30s. It's like, well, it's in the low 30s right now. And it is cold out, so I'm not excited about washes, but it's going to be cold water. But uh, we got to get her done, and then Reggie's going to show up tomorrow, and we're going to actually put the decals on. So uh, let's go out and do that wash now. All right, we're ready to stick on the wrap. Reggie will be here in a few minutes while he's uh, 
on his way. I'm going to put on the uh, 3M94 primer. I'm going to start doing around all the edges. Help give it a little stick, maybe around all the rivets, that kind of stuff. And you can be generous with this stuff, just anywhere you want it to be extra sticky. I might, I'm going to put it all over the JB Weld I put on there to make sure it sticks well to that. There he is! We're almost ready for the exciting part. All right, we'll get Reggie mic'd up so we can hear all these interesting things he has to say. Did you bring an X-Acto knife? Yeah. Oh, good. I'll grab that. Mm -hmm. I got my car lift kind of in the way here, but can't really move it anywhere else, so we'll just have to work around that. Stuff has to got dry. Got the last two at the dollar store. All right. They're a dollar a piece. And that's going to fit just perfect in there? It's 18 inches, and that's it's almost exact. Here's the wrap. comes in a big old roll. There's two of them in there, so we'll have to separate them. Uh, this one's 18 inches, and if we hold it up, see over here, see it's pretty much, if you hold it right to the edge, it's, it can almost be exact. Yeah. Ooh, look at the big fish. So, <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to go the opposite way. I'm so we want this one. Here, take, take the one we're not using, maybe throw it on the boat. Get it out of the way. So I wanted something to reflect our style of fishing. Northern pike going after a... <laughs> crankbait or a spinnerbait, that's exactly what we do. So, and this is why you want someone else to help you here, because holding this with one person, it gets a little much. Yeah. All right, yeah, put her through there. I know, it has to be right in the way. So, I'm thinking it's, I made it 19 feet, so it should be just a hair long. Maybe uh, you can always get some tape and kind of tape it up, but I need it to go. So that there is long enough for me. Is it reached the back for you? All right, so right now the blue is over about a half inch. Okay. Tape on this side and then come back and do yours. So I'm not 100% sure on the correct way to do this, but I'll make it work. Yeah, and I've seen people do it several different ways. Let's see what works best for us and do it that way. My paint job was pretty bad, but these are made. You can actually remove them and save your paint job. Ooh, that primer is. Ooh, get high on that stuff. Yeah. Like I said, these, once this is on, we'll stick the words and stuff over the top of it. So if you wanted to print them separate so we could, you know, make sure it was in the right spot, not just Print it on here. Yeah, so I've seen it that way, and then I saw it where they just taped it in the middle, then peeled off one side and stuck this side, and then came back and yeah. did I'm this side. Yeah, I'm wondering, top on first? Yeah, I'm thinking we'll line the top up and then just stretch the bottom to where it needs to go. Pretty close. I guess. Yeah, top stuck on. So we just gotta cut that one notch there and the rest will just start pulling and smoothing. Um, did you bring a heat gun or I got yeah. one too, so. Well, uh, let's put her on and then just heat it up and try to smooth it out. So I kind of like that guy's idea where if we start here in the middle and then we each kind of just work this way. That way we ain't got the whole bunch all the way from the back. He gave you that. The one that's already effed up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to blame when it ain't right. It is. <laughs> so it's just a fishing boat. I'm not putting it on show. And from the distance, you can't really no, see it. No, from back, it's going to look pretty dang cool. All right. We're going to keep working on this. We'll come back and show you when we're done. I think it's supposed to be more on the side rather than right up front. 
All right, we got it as good as we're gonna get. I think it looks awesome. Um, there are a few more wrinkles than I was hoping for, but you know, when you stand back and look at it, it's really hard to tell. So I think we're gonna be good. Now to put on all the logos, you printed those off separately. So, um, cause when you put that on, you have to adjust it a bit. So this way we can put them right where we want them and they'll stick right over the top of the wrap that's there. And these are like a two part system. So you pull off this top piece and it holds the words on here. And then you just, that way you can have the words facing the right way. Where about, that looks good. I got the, find us on YouTube. It's gonna go right below it. So just a heads up, if you plan on doing this for your YouTube or something like that, you can't actually put YouTube on your boat, but what you can do is you can put the, the actual YouTube symbol, the play symbol with a slash and then your name. Then you can say, find us on YouTube, but you can't just have YouTube on there. So there's a process you can go through on their, uh, on YouTube where you can apply and you send in your, uh, what you want done and then they can approve it or not. So I went through like three or four revisions before they finally said, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Once that's on, it's on. I know. Taking that sucker off. This one you can't redo. All right. Now we got our numbers. Oh. Oh! You're getting excited. You ripped the two off. Look at that, you can't even tell. Don't get so crazy on it. I know, I was getting that too FX. excited. You're like, oh, it's done! I'm just gonna eyeball this one too. Kind of same deal, just peels apart. There it is. All right, one side is done, and I think it looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Look at that. Now we're just gonna do the other side, and I'm gonna pull it outside, and we'll get a better look at it. All right, we just finished with the second side, and it turned out much better. We learned a few things from the uh, first side here. So what we did is, the first side, we tasted it along the top, and then we just kind of smoothed it down. This time we tasted it in the middle, and then just kind of went each direction like this and then wherever it landed up we just trimmed the edges from top to bottom and had a lot less wrinkles in it so you can see here it's uh looks a lot better than the other side a lot less wrinkles and here's the first side so they're kind of hard to see you got to get up close but if you look you can see got a few wrinkles in there but from a distance it all looks pretty darn good I'm just going to go along with this edge sealer and just dab it along the uh, cut edges there. And then we're going to take it outside and get a good look at it. Well, what do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty awesome and it was well worth the uh, 500 bucks I spent on it. So most fishing boats around here are probably about 16 feet long. So it's probably gonna be three to $400 for you to do it. And uh, I said I added the extra custom decals and stuff. So that was like an extra $50. So for me it was 500 bucks, but you can do it for as little as $199 if you do a uh, small like 12 foot boat, um, all the way up to, like I said, about 600 bucks. Well, I got it ready just in time for next week, Wisconsin Fishing Opener. We're going to be hitting Long Lake and a bunch of other lakes around that area. So if you've been waiting for some fishing videos to come out, they'll be coming out real soon. So come back and check that out. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the lake.